What is up my Butter Biscuits? In today's video, I thought it would be really fun to talk about all my current skincare favorites. I have so many right now. I feel like I do this video probably like once per year. I just can't remember the last time that I did one, but I know it's been a hot minute and I have a lot of new skincare favorites. I do wanna let you guys know before jumping into this video, I am no skincare expert. I feel like I'm still learning so much when it comes down to skincare ingredients. There's just so many different ingredients and there's so many different things that these ingredients do that I just can't keep up with. And I try to like learn, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, then you learn something new and then you learn this and then don't use the product with that product and I just get so confused with this and I just feel like there's just so many ingredients so I'm letting you guys know I am no skincare expert so some of these ingredients that are in these products I may not necessarily know exactly what they do I'm just letting you guys know that they are my favorite and they work for me right now at this point in my life because I do feel like there is so many products out there that I have been using for a set period of time and then all of a sudden they just stop working for me and I guess that that's normal I guess your skin changes and then all of a sudden the products don't work for you also another thing that I want to let you guys know before jumping in this too is that say for example something in here that I may love you may hate obviously everybody's skin is going to react differently to things and there may be a product out there that you guys absolutely love and I'm going to hate that just doesn't work well for me you know what I'm saying take it with a grain of salt because obviously everybody's skin is different and everybody's skin does have different needs so let you guys know that um, before jumping into this video did I mention this is not sponsored? Y'all know for some reason I just can't get a sponsor from any type of makeup brand or skincare like brand to save my life. So letting you guys know these are all just my honest opinions. Um, The Polish Choice products within this video were sent to me though. I am on their PR list, but I do want to let you guys know two, no, no, three, three of the four Polish Choice products that I'm talking about, I actually repurchased myself only because I love them so much, but I did try them the first time from receiving them in PR. So letting you guys know that before jumping into this video. Um, Anyways, yeah, so that is it. I have so many products. I am not going to be going in any type of order i'm really just grabbing them as i go telling you what i like about them and that's pretty much it i will not be discussing the price too only because i feel like oh my gosh that's a lot of work you know what i'm saying so if you guys are interested in any of these products you guys can just google them and then find out you know the price um anyways let me shut up make sure you guys click the link down below head over to my second channel that's my travel channel with my brother make sure you guys go give a subscribe over there i would really appreciate that make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it okay so i thought about it and i'm like you know what let me stay in order okay because then i'm like this will go a little bit more smooth because i have so many products right here and no I don't use these products every single day they're just like my current faves I do want to go ahead and start off with the cleansers um the first cleanser right here I have really been loving is this one right here this is the La Roche Posay the um Tolerane hydrating gentle cleanse I feel like if you guys have sensitive skin this one right here is really good for you okay so the reason why I even purchased this though is because I was googling products that are good for skin's pH balance as I've let you guys know before I have this like irritation on my skin that's like right where my like redness is and there's broken capillaries on there no makeup clings to it and it's so frustrating this is why i'm always saying that i cannot wear cream blushes because it just peels off from right there and it looks so splotchy it's so frustrating on um, this product right here i do want to say it didn't help i mean obviously i didn't do a skin ph balance test but it didn't really help with that but i do want to say i do like it i feel like it does remove makeup really good as well as it is very very gentle on the skin this is not like a foaming up cleanser this is like very like it doesn't feel like you're like put like it feels like a moisturizer going on your skin pretty much you know what i'm saying it doesn't like lather up it doesn't foam up so if you guys are looking for something like that this may not be the one for you but this big old bottle right here 13.52 ounces was pretty cheap i want to say it was under 20 bucks the next cleanser I want to get into right here is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. As you guys know, I freaking love this. This is a little bit more on the drying side. I do feel like this right here is probably geared towards more people who have a little bit more of oily skin, but there are times that I just do feel like I need that deep cleanse, and this really does do that. And on top of that, too, I absolutely love the scent. Scent, And on top of that, too, my skin loves this. So it does get a little bit dry after the shower, but there will be some times where I feel like, oh my gosh, my skin's going through it, so let me like go something a little bit more of a deep cleanse as it says and then i'll like use a more heavy moisturizer after um next up this has actually been my number one current um cleanser this is the polish choice ultra gentle cleanser just like it says it is extremely gentle like even more gentle than the la roche posay and i consider this to be very very gentle as well too if you guys have sensitive skin chances are this is good for you this is what it says right here gently cleanses skin without disrupting the skin's barrier and leaves skin feeling soft and hydrated and that's what i want to know about this product right here after the shower sometimes y'all because i have a bad habit of taking a super hot shower which i know is not good for your skin but sometimes it's just it's so relaxing and it's so needed you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of cleansers leave my skin feeling really really dry just like the 
deep cleanse right here this one does not like my skin feels really really good and supple after using it and this one right here for a 6.7 ounce bottle is only 19 dollars. and i saw that it's on amazon so i'm like y'all next time i get it i'm gonna get it on amazon but this is my second time going through this i'm actually halfway done with this i just really really love this and i've been using it now i want to say maybe for about four months this is my second bottle i'm like i'm obsessed with it i freaking love it now let's everything i feel like is going to kind of get out of order here I, mean, I do apologize because a lot of the like exfoliants i don't really like y'all i don't really know how to use them properly i go through phases with them like i'll use one exfoliant for i don't know maybe like three weeks and i'll switch over you know what i'm saying so take that with a grain of salt that's why i said i am no skincare expert these are just products that i like um oh before we get into all the like difficult stuff i do want to say these joa toner pads right here with centella asiatica and willow bark i absolutely love i feel like they help out my skin's redness so much and i use these before putting on makeup and i'm like oh my gosh y'all my skin really does love these and they're there is 50 of them 50 pads for like $12 I get them at CVS this is my second or third time going through these absolutely love these my skin definitely does love these if you guys have redness right here try this out it's not going to get rid of your redness completely but it is definitely gentle on redness um let's go ahead and talk about moisture actually yeah let's talk about moisturizers right now only because i only have two current favorite moisturizers let's go ahead and talk about this one right here because as you guys know i this is my second time purchasing this this is the jeffree star banana fetish moisturizer this right here, the whole reason why, if you guys checked out my full video of doing like a review of Jeffree Star skin, I was like, oh yeah, I like this moisturizer, it's good, but it's nothing too special, there's nothing to rave about it. I do want to say after using it more and more, like I said, this is my second bottle right here that I have purchased. My skin loves this before makeup. I feel like this is a really good before makeup moisturizer. It's not one of those nighttime moisturizers that is going to be super heavy, super moisturizing. This is just the right amount of moisturizer. And on top of that too, this product does have a little bit of uh, Centella Asiatica in it too so it does help tone down my redness as well and it is fairly priced i feel like the second time that i got this one it was like on sale for 20 bucks i was like oh let me swoop on that and then he did have free shipping so i was like ooh. but my current favorite one i've talked about this so like i don't know probably like five videos already now this is the hyper real skin canvas balm every oh my gosh skin canvas balm every single time that i mention this moisturizer in a video i'm like i don't remember the name and i put a picture of it up on the screen i absolutely love this right here i feel like this is such an amazing moisturizer before putting on makeup on top of that too i feel like it balances my skin to where i feel like i get less oily throughout the day and for some odd reason it's literally not even a claim i've checked the website it helps with my redness it tones down my redness there's an ingredient in here that like really does help my redness it's the only moisturizer that i'm like whoa it's actually toning it down say for example like with the um jeffree star one it just doesn't make me more red because some certain moisturizers will so i will say like this is a good moisturizer as far as when it comes to redness but it's not going to tone it down it just doesn't make it worse this tones it down which is a trip to me because it's literally not a claim but this is what it says on the back it says it's, um formulated with pro 4 power infusion matrix japanese peony extract niacinamide hyaluronic acid and ceramides absolutely love this y'all and on top of that too the smell of this it has like the most faint smell of i guess maybe it's the peony Pe how do you pronounce that y'all do you say pony or peony peony i don't know y'all know what i'm trying to say maybe it's that i don't know this smells absolutely amazing so then let's go ahead and talk about the serum as well too because i love that so much i did pick up the serum this serum right here i 100 notice a difference in i feel like this also helps balance my skin when i wear this i feel like my skin gets less oily throughout the day which i absolutely love and on top of that too makeup looks beautiful on top of this i do remember reading that it was created to put on before makeup it definitely helps with makeup but i do want to say this though it does have a little bit of shimmer in it so if you guys are like anti-shimmery people it has the tiniest bit of amount of shimmer in it i wouldn't say that it's comparable to the strobe cream but it definitely does have that same type of reflect just way less of it this serum is super bomb though if you have oily skin i would try this out my skin is more on the normal side by the way so take this thing you know with a grain of salt obviously when i do wear this though my um oils are toned down which i really really love now, before we get into the difficult products, because y'all, a lot of these products that I'm going to be talking about, I really don't know too much about, but I do use them because I was advised by people to use them and I feel like they really make my skin look great. So before we get into that, let's talk about this right here. I purchased this about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. This is the Vino Perfect um, Brightening Eye Cream by Codile, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, y'all. Codile, Codile. I love the applicator on this. It does have one of those little push out, rub on type of applicators. Let me show you guys right here. That way you guys can see. 
This product right here is super, super nice. Some days I wake up with puffy under eyes. I put this on instantly better. And also on top of that too, I do want to say this product right here, it's really, really weird because at first it'll look like it's very moisturizing and I'm like, oh, I don't want to put too much makeup on top of it because then my fine lines and wrinkles are going to like really emphasize as soon as I put makeup on. But y'all, about 30 minutes after wearing this, it kind of does dry down and I absolutely love it. Like this has been my favorite eye cream. It is definitely not a very heavy moisturizing eye cream. I would say this is obviously geared towards if you say, for example, you have a little bit more discoloration as well as puffiness. If you're looking for something that is for dryness, you guys may not like this. This one isn't on the super, super hydrating side. But if you have puffiness and discoloration, I do notice a difference with that. OK, let's go ahead and jump into the difficult products here, y'all. I feel like, okay, you know what? The two that I know the most about, this is like my fourth or fifth time going through this right here. This is the Paula's Choice 1% Retinol with Peptides and Vitamin C. This retinol is absolutely amazing. I love it and my skin loves it. And I feel like every single time I use this, my skin looks super, super amazing. If you guys have not tried retinols, you guys may want to try one that is a little bit um, less strong. But if you guys are going to be trying retinol for the first time, maybe this could be a little too harsh for you. Because I do remember when I first started trying this, I want to say it was maybe about two years ago. I used it two times within one week and my skin was getting dry because it was already kind of like peeling. And then I realized, okay, no, I should have used it once per week for like two, three weeks and then jump into two times and then so on. And then I obviously now got to the point now to where I'll, I'll use it maybe like four times a week um, if I'm not going to be out in the sun. And then next up right here, this is probably like my fourth time buying this too. I absolutely love this. This is the C15 Super Booster. This is 15% vitamin C with vitamin E and ferlic acid. My skin absolutely loves this. I'll sleep with this on and I'll wake up in the morning and my skin is just like so glowing, so beautiful. It does help tone down my redness as well too. And y'all, I feel like this definitely does help with any type of, say for example, like me in the sun, I'll get like little sunspots or say for example, if you, y'all, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like hyperpigmentation. If I have any type of acne like on my forehead and I like say for example I have a pimple and I'll pop it it like stays dark purple for months with this and the retinol y'all it'll stay there for I would say maybe two weeks and that's a trip to me because y'all I just get this hyperpigmentation that stays for months those two products take it away now getting into the products that I don't know too much about but my skin loves I want to talk about this Vino Perfect Codelier mask pilling it's a oh duh. why am I all reading like the French version of it it says right down here glycolic pill mask um radiance in 10 minutes this has um AHAs in it um I was told do not use this with retinol if you're going to be wearing retinol in the nighttime, don't do that because it may be a little bit too harsh for your skin. My skin freaking loves this, y'all. I'll put this on, but I only do do this once a week. And I'll put this on and after, my skin feels so extremely soft and looks so beautiful. I absolutely love this. One of the girls at Sephora recommended it to me because I was like, I have this texture up here on my forehead that I absolutely hate. One day I will get like the skin resurfacing laser one day. That's like $2,000. Um, she was like, try this out right here because I definitely do notice some of my texture Um going away with this y'all i tried this after one time and i was like oh my gosh i already noticed a difference after one time but i do think it is pretty pricey i don't remember exactly how much it was but y'all already know that I, got, that I got it on the sephora sale because i don't pay full price for nothing um and then this was actually sent to me by accident i did place an order during the sephora sale um the, the weirdest thing had happened i called customer service and i was like um yeah i ordered one of the kosas mini travel setting powders the cloud set powders and i was like they sent me this instead and even the girl on the phone she was busting up because she was like that is just so completely random like normally they'll send the wrong shade or something or maybe even something from the same category but the fact that they sent this instead I was like what but she was like you can keep it so I was like okay let me try it out so this right here is the TLC Sukari baby facial this has 25 25% uh, AHA 2% uh, BHA and then chickpea flower y'all this is very much like this i will say that these are pretty much in the same category to me um they do have ahas in them so i'm assuming they're kind of like the same as well as they do kind of exfoliate the skin and leave your skin feeling so extremely soft i have used this i want to say maybe like five times now this is a very small one my skin loves it. Like, to be quite honest with you guys, as soon as I'm like done with both of these, I don't know which one I would go with because I feel like I see the same exact results with both of these right here. And then for the last product right here, which I have talked about so many times on my channel, it's been a favorite of mine for years. This is the Polish Choice Exfoliate. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with um, salicylic acid. This right here obviously does have the like, um, you know, uh, BHA in it. So it is going to exfoliate the skin. So obviously do not use this the same time that you're gonna be using this. But but this right here, y'all, 
just use it on a cotton pad, rub it on your face and just fill your skin after. It is so crazy how absolutely amazing this product is right here. I do think that it is Polish Choice bestseller if I um, am correct on that. Uh, but it used to be, honestly. I haven't really checked too much on Polish Choice in a hot minute only because I just stay like replacing my orders of the products that I do like. But I do have to tell you guys, um, and I'm not just saying this because they do have me on their PR list, genuinely love their products. If you guys have tried it, you guys know. I've hooked my friends up with some of their products before and they're like, oh my gosh, my homegirl actually really really likes this so much that she already went through three bottles literally three bottles so try this out if you guys are looking to try something um anyways that is it for my current skincare favorites if i have to tell you guys like the number one product that i'm just so obsessed with is literally it would be this max skin um hyper real balm look i literally still can't remember the name because it's like hyper real skin canvas balm so i feel like it's like two different names i don't know i love putting on this product and on top of that too if you guys are looking for a moisturizer before makeup this is like the perfect one right here too because it's not too overly moisturizing anyway so that is it for my current skincare faves please feel free to leave comments down below and let me know a lot of these ingredients because honestly like i know an aha i know a bha i know those types of things but i don't know like chickpea flour and like why is this one 25 percent and two percent bha and then this one's just aha and then why is this one just bha like please let me know down below i get a little confused with this because i feel like there's just so many different ingredients so feel free to school me down below and make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout